in that big uh, abstract landscape, the Scottish one, I might have something else at that sometime. Um, and as I said after it, I'm going to carry on and try doing these flower scenes, rather nice. Did them many years ago. <clears throat> They're pastels and acrylic inks that were done at uh, Burton Agnes Hall in Yorkshire. I used to spend Julys there as artist in residence for about five years. Absolutely beautiful place, love the gardens there, well recommend a visit there. Well, we finished the other flower one, and uh, I'm pleased with that in a way, <clears throat> although it's not quite as vibrant as the original acrylic ink and pastel. It's interesting to see the difference in the mediums. Now let me try this one, this vertical one. And uh, do it exactly the same way. I want to build up with the fillers first. So I'll put that over there, and this one ready to work up with. And mix up the filler. is now dry so it needs a coat of emulsion and uh, I'm going to use the white again because I want to have nice bright colours. So that's that emulsion I spoke about last time which starts off pink when it's dry it goes white so that we know it's all done. We're on to the second piece of this series, and I want to take it a stage further. Rather than just paint these beautiful colours straight on, and I do wish I had my acrylic inks with me because I'd get this vibrance then, so I should be able to get with the uh, ordinary acrylics, we'll see. But I wanted to make it a bit more decorative. I'm going to put some gold leaking down here in these lighter areas and in between, which should reflect and come through the flowers here. I'll put gold leafing in and around a few of these places, perhaps in amongst these oranges as well. To give it an extra sparkle, another dimension, because it is a decorative piece of work as well. To do that I've got this Fimo um, metallic foiling and gold leafing. It's quite good stuff. Um, it's a lot cheaper than the real thing and it works just as well, what we're going to do here. So first I've got to put some glue onto here, special glue onto here, and then when it's just dry enough we'll brush on the gold leafing, let that dry off, and then start to work my acrylics up. So first I want to apply my gold leaf into, first I want to apply my glue to where I'm going to put some of the gold leaf and through here and in this case I'm not using proper gold leaf size I'm going to try it with just some PVA glue because I reckon that should do the job alright I can always put a bit of this gold leaf on afterwards as well if I want to it doesn't just have to go on now before the paint if I want to I can, I can add some on the paint itself later bit more sparkle here and there. And it comes in these tiny little packs and the gold leafing itself is in between sheets of very fine looks like tissue paper. Got to be careful almost not to breathe even when we put this stuff on. And just see where the glue has gone. We should just paste this on carefully and Normally I use a brush for this as well. I'll take a, a stiff bristle brush. Badger hair brush is good for this actually. And uh, we just brush this onto the surface. It's going on alright with PVA glue. Looks like I've missed that one. Put some glue back on there. And you, you brush off the excess afterwards. Once you put it onto there and it's stuck and it's dry, you can then go back and brush off any excess glue, any excess gold leaf um, that you haven't used up. Right, this should almost do it. Just a little flight of fancy of mine. Just a little bit of gold leaf in one of these. It's not as easy as it is with proper glue, I must admit, it doesn't go on 
might as well, but that should do it, I think. The, the bit of gold leafing I want just to look through. Right, on we go then. We'll start painting as last time, and light colours first, so I'm going to start with the lemon yellow and white. In this case, lemon yellow, white, and a little bit of light blue, just to give a slightly green tint. And we're going to paint out these bits of paint in between the gold leafing and just over the edges of them. I've got the same problem this time with the white of course and the, the acrylics. The white with the acrylics, I the good quality they are, it's very hard to get them very white. I might be tempted to use a bit of either white emulsion or white oil paint to get these bright whites but we'll see. And that same colour is coming on when I've got it on my brush. I've got a bit of that down here. Quite strong in that turquoise blue as it comes around here. I am wondering about leaving a little bit of this white ground showing because it works well on the paper, uh, on the original, so I'm just wondering if it might work for this job here. So we're using it as a sort of conjunction of conglomeration of uh, watercolour of watercolour and acrylics and inks all in the same sort of uh, breath if you like. I'm using compound interest, I'm using what I have learnt before with new, new things all the time it's a gold leaf just showing there I'm going down to an alizarin there, it might be a bit browner yet than that, we'll see. Those bright reds I was talking about. Get some cadmium. Just come back onto this. Really brighten it up with a bit of heavy. We can use the surface structure more. The texture in now a bit more. Just suddenly appears, isn't it, with these? It's just happening now. Okay, now let's look at the ultramarine, pure ultramarine, see what we can do with that. It's not far off what we've got. It's a bit bluer. So we'll add some of that in. Alright, we'll carry on and build this up some more. Let's look back at these light blues again and what can do with them. But this time we're just going to use pure cerulean blue and a bit of white to build it up. A slightly different blue this time. Hopefully you can see the potential of working in this way. I mean you could use this for any, any textural work, even if it's beaches or trees or it's wonderful making textures like this. And it's quite an inexpensive way of doing it as well. Might as well leave it a while while the sun goes down because I can't see what I'm doing. The sun has gone down a bit more now, it's coming into evening. But I'll do a bit more on this tonight yet if I can. pure whites onto there for the daisies but this white acrylic just is not doing the job. I'll let that dry a bit before I try putting them back in there again. So we're coming to the last stages of this. Paint's drying off a bit. Right, I'm just trying to get this vibrance if we can. Not quite getting it, but uh, it's getting on the way. A bit of, bit of this yellow and a bit of white and 
see if we can get a bit more vibrance with that because we're just not getting the brightness of colour that I really need so close to it. I know I can get it with the oils but um, I just haven't got them with me so but acrylic should be able to do it surely. <clears throat> well I had that trouble with that sunflower field when I was painting in France if you've seen that one where I had to actually come back and and repaint uh, the over the top of it later using um, oils because I just could not get the brightness with the acrylics. It's this impressionist technique of one colour over another that I'm trying to master here. It's a lovely rich tapestry eh? of colours. Back to the cream again. Get some uh, white and lemon yellow again. I think we're coming to our last stages, as much as we're going to get with this painting anyway. So we'll take some, it's almost uh, not burnt sienna, but it's more of an Indian red than burnt sienna, this. Just to bring out some of these warms against the reds here. Play cool against warm reds. Oh, we're getting there, aren't we? The evening's coming on, so you might have a job seeing the painting a bit more now, <clears throat> but it's it's happening. The problem is just the whites. Can't really get thick enough pure white to put on for these days as I'd like. A little just do, but I would have preferred something a little stronger around these bits. Just intuition really now, just feeling my way around the bits that just need tidying up. So I think I'll have to leave it at that. Put a coat of varnish on to bring the colours out and then work on it again later if I feel it's necessary. And that's it for this evening. Don't have on this to make do for the moment. I'll take a closer look at it.